hearing a lot about ai nowadays whether it's on news on uh, you know the newspapers people are talking about ai a lot so you have heard about chat gpt i hope you guys have tried chat gpt as well it's kind of a ai based chatbot so you must be thinking that google is going to be replaced that if people can use chat gpt to get their homework done to search for a specific thing they want to know something so the whole information they can get from chat gpt so uh, google is going to be replaced by chat gpt no it's not how could be how could we guys replace google google is ruling the market since so long so google has launched one of the product few days back it was google uh, kind of a ai based chatbot google bard and it was not responding so well so people have trolled uh, a lot about uh, chat uh, the chatbot of google which was bard and now just few days back they are coming with the new version of it and it's performing so well so google bard is again similar to chat gpt which can also answer all the questions that you were searching through chat gpt you can it can also help you in your homework you can write an email and you can write a, a ppt pen prepare ppt you can solve your math question programmers can get help from uh, generating a piece of code and one more extra feature that we have here in bard is we can email directly and that do have access of search engine bard do have access of search engine so whatever you are searching you can get the recent update out of it chat gpt is trained on a historical data so it it gives you the answer certain uh, uh, till this uh, i think uh, september 2021 after that whatever is happening chat gpt is not able to answer you the recent stuff so so let's uh, jump to the screen and see what is the difference between these two i will be answering the question i will be uh, you know using chat gpt and bard both all together and see for the same question how they both are answering so let's come to the screen and see the difference between chat gpt and google bard so i have created uh, i already logged in to chat gpt and bard if you are not logged in to simply go to the search and you can open google bard simply search google bard and you will see the first link meet bard google so you just go to this and you can create your login as i already logged in so it directly land up here you can create your sign up and for the chat gpt as well you simply search chat gpt and you will have this introducing chat gpt uh, first url and click on try GP, try chat gpt and you get login into this so here i have these two screens one is for chat gpt this one and that is for google bard so i'll be asking some basic questions from both and see how both are responding and we can compare and we can see the difference between these two so the first question is who is the current president of india that i am asking from uh, google bard and i can write the same for chat gpt as well who is the current president of india so the basic question i am asking president of india on chat gpt meanwhile it create the response let's move to the bard one so bard says that current president of india is draupadi mumu which is a correct information and uh, c has taken charge on uh, this july july 25 2020 and uh, the other information and uh, the information it has provided also give you the option to google it once you click on this these are two related uh, uh, link it has given so there you can search it out and you see that link the text port responses you can export those responses to a document in case you want to create a word file or document it and share with someone you can export it as a docs and you can draft in gmail if you want to you know share this information on email to someone you can si simply click on draft in gmail and you can send the email directly now let's jump to the chat gpt and see how it has responded so chat gpt says that as of my last knowledge update uh, in september 2021 the current president of india is ramnath kovin which is not correct so chat gpt is not giving you the correct uh, the current information 
it is trained on the historical data i mean till september 2021 it will give you the responses but here the winner is bard it has given you the correct information with some added uh, you know the options like export to docs and draft in gmail as well now the next question we ask like uh, how to make vegetable soup it's a very basic question i just written in without uh, space but let's see how it works like it has taken is correctly the query make vegetable soup so it has given you the responses and same we can add, ask from chat gpt how to make vegetable soup so in this case I see it is generating the responses. Both have given the output. I mean, we are able to understand that how to create a vegetable soup and it has given instruction and the, ingre uh, the uh, in ingredients that we use, is, uh, we require to create this, uh, I mean, to make it. And uh, the customization, it has given uh, the entire information that you simply get from Google. And BARD as well uh, gives the response. So both are working in the same way in that case. Now, the next question is, for example, if I say, what is the stock price of, what is the stock price of Twitter today? So, uh, same we can ask from ChatGPT. Of Twitter today. And see what okay. So Twitter stock price uh, it has given as per today's information, and you can see on Google like Twitter today, and the information is directly like uh, from the search engine as well. You can get that information. But if you go for the Chat GPT, it got fail. It says that I apologize. I do not have information for this because I am trained till September two thousand twenty one data, so I cannot help it. So the current thing. I mean, Bard is winning here. So let's see some more questions like, write, uh, I am writing to ChatGPT, write an essay for 10 year kid about, let's say, mother. So the same thing I can ask from Bard as well. Write an essay. For 10 year kid about mother. So it should give the simplest way, a simplest response so the 10 year kid can explain about mother. So it has given few lines like uh, most important person in my life, something like that. And for chat GPT, like it has given you the pointers. So pointers are here. You see that uh, introduction, title has given introduction, paragraphs, where it has given certain pointers like love and care, teacher and guide, sacrifice and support, life lessons, conclusion. So it, I mean, here at this time, chat GPT is do have quite precise information and on, on this type of things, chat GPT, I things working better here it uh, that is also kind of a you know because we were asking for a 10 year old kid so again we see that bard is also taking that as an input that that uh, whatever the information you are writing it should be compatible for the 10 year kid so that he or she can easily explain it so we can say that both are working in the round way okay so some more questions like uh, okay write an email to boast for write an e short email write a short email to boast about project timeline let's say project timeline and the same we can copy and paste to chat gpt one as well so chat gpt uh subject then dear boss name i hope this email finds you well and then the information and bard also like uh, it uh, both are working in a similar way so you can use bard or chat gpt both for this type of information now let's say i want a uh, uh, python code i want to write a python code i have given this i already created some sample prompts so the question I have given, write a Python code to read CSV named 
as test.csv from D drive data folder. So let's see how it's going to generate it. And the same we can ask from chat GPT as well. So chat GPT says that, okay, with open file path with open and okay, column one, this, and this is how. And it says that make sure to replace this with this the actual path. And it also says that uh, use code with question, read this, okay. And then it has uh, used pandas for that. I have not given that uh, you need to write it in pandas. But here, if they are directly using this uh, path, like import, they imported CSV. The way of working is different here. So if I say here, convert that as Python code, Python pandas code, sorry. Pandas code. So it will got converted. So file path, pd dot read and all. Because the instruction, I have not given that instruction that you need to write it uh, in, specifically in Panda. So I asked for Python and certainly like Bard has also given, but it has used Pandas. It may have directly write uh, uh, the straightforward uh, core Python and stuff, but it has given you into the Pandas one. So that that is also okay. So uh, I'll, I'll say that in that case, chat GPT is a bit better than this. But yeah, they both are working in the round way. If I say write a Python function to calculate distance between two latitude and longitude. So let's see how both are responding. I have given this question to chat GPT and same I have given to Bart. So it says it is okay. And for the chat GPT, it has created a function and then argument they have uh, added a proper doc string to this. Okay, and this is how the hover sign formula we're gonna use it. And this is also, hmm. So, uh, I mean, they, it has given the example to use that function as well. So these are the uh, latitude, longitude uh, values and they call that function and see. So this is working perfectly fine in this case. Let's see how Bard is working. So I see Bard has also given quite similar response. Yeah. Ah, yes. Yeah, both are working fine in that case. So we can, you can use both for asking questions and all, right? See, now next is, what next question we can ask? Uh, sample question to practice for Python interview. I'll be asking for both. I have written here for chat GPT and I have given the same for Bard. So let's let generate the questions and see. Okay, so it has given what is Python advantage, disadvantage, different data types, control flow statements, functions, I mean, uh, modules and different web development frame, framework, different OOPS concepts in Python, data science libraries as well. And here, uh let's see what chat gpt has generated yeah i mean both has given you the sample questions i mean uh chat gpt has generated different questions and bard has generated some generic questions but in chat gpt questions are much better than the bard one so it's totally depend like sometimes chat gpt is working fine sometimes bard is working fine but one thing is clear that if you're talking about the con current information then bard will uh, I mean, win, win that situation because BARD is like a kind of a search engine. So what is happening into the current stays, currently what is happening, it will give that information to you. So kind of a search engine that is using. Also, you can use that information, you know, to create a Word document. You can extract that information like that and you can email directly from there. So this is how, this is the basic difference between these two. Use wisely and see how these two are working. I hope you're very much clear with uh, the chat GPT and Google Word and uh, you understand the difference between these two and let's use it 